the royal family's image of privilege and power often comes with the assumption of unwavering security. Yet, the recent break-in at Windsor Castle, a mere five-minute walk from Prince William and Kate's Adelaide Cottage, has sparked renewed concern about their safety. This incident saw a mass thief scale fences, steal a quad bike, and smash through a security gate with a stolen truck, all while the family slept nearby. Such audacity, combined with reports of reduced armed police at public entrances due to shortages, has left royal circles on edge. However, this is not the first time the sanctity of royal residences has been compromised. From Michael Fagan's infamous Buckingham Palace escapade to a crossbow-wielding teenager intent on assassination, the history of royal security breaches tells a tale of audacity, danger, and at times, bizarre motives. One of the most shocking breaches occurred in 1982 when Michael Fagan managed to break into Buckingham Palace twice. In his first attempt, he spent half an hour wandering the palace, snacking on cheese and crackers, and triggering alarms that security dismissed as faulty. A few days later, Fagan returned, this time entering the Queen's bedroom. The Queen, alarmed but composed, kept him engaged in conversation until help arrived. While no physical harm came to her, the incident exposed glaring lapses in security, prompting significant reforms. Similarly, in 2021, Jusvant Singh Chael, a self-proclaimed assassin, broke into Windsor Castle on Christmas Day armed with a crossbow. Motivated by revenge for historical events, Chael's chilling intent to harm Queen Elizabeth underscored the persistent risks the royals face despite modern advancements in security systems. Even more recent events highlight the ongoing challenges. In May 2023, just days before King Charles's coronation, a man was arrested outside Buckingham Palace for throwing shotgun cartridges onto the grounds while shouting threats against the king. His subsequent arrest revealed a fragile intersection of mental health issues and security risks. The brazenness of another individual, who claimed he only sought a restroom when caught trespassing at Buckingham Palace in August 2023, adds a layer of absurdity to these intrusions. Despite these variations in intent, from malice to misunderstanding, the breaches collectively highlight vulnerabilities in royal safety protocols. Historically, even Queen Victoria faced her share of peril. In 1872, Arthur O'Connor, a 17-year-old radical, scaled the Buckingham Palace fence, intent on forcing the Queen to sign a document for Irish Republican prisoners' release. Thwarted by her loyal servant, John Brown, O'Connor's plot failed, but his return to the palace months later revealed the persistence of threats. Another peculiar case was Edward Jones, who repeatedly broke into the palace in the 1830s and 1840s, stealing Queen Victoria's knickers and reading her private correspondence. While his escapades were more mischievous than malicious, they underscored the lack of security measures in that era, prompting the evolution of royal protection. These historical and modern breaches collectively illustrate a complex reality. While royal residences are symbolic fortresses of tradition, they remain susceptible to human error, audacious intruders, and systemic shortcomings. The presence of well-trained personnel and advanced technology is crucial, yet these alone cannot guarantee safety. Recent lapses, like the removal of armed police from key posts, raise critical questions about balancing resources and ensuring robust protection. A fragile balance between privacy and security. The royal family's security breaches over the years serve as stark reminders of their dual existence as both public figures and private individuals. While high walls, surveillance systems, and armed guards may deter most threats, they cannot eliminate them entirely. As history has shown, even the most fortified palaces are not immune to determined intruders, whether driven by grievance, mental health struggles, or mere mischief. In the face of such persistent risks, ongoing vigilance, investment in advanced security measures, and public awareness will remain essential to safeguarding the royals in an ever-changing world.